Hey Lou, you know that Quetzal fusing bug that happened last patch? You know, the one that was actually costing too much DNA for the fuses? It seems to have happened again with like half of our new hybrids. Yeah mate, that's actually not a bug. It's actually a new feature called Surprise Fusing. But won't that just cause all the players to waste like tons of DNA and force them to suffer through our support process? Yeah, mate, I really think that this new feature is actually going to cause our revenue to skyrocket. But, how? Ah, I'm glad you asked, mate. You see, with everyone wasting their good DNA, some will indeed resort to buying incubators and scents to recover the losses. Mate, I'm just going to go ahead and say this now. Keep buckets of ice by your deathbed. I have a feeling you're going to need it. Anyway, shut up for a second. Nah, mate. I won't actually need it. My family actually migrated many years ago from a really, really hot climate down south. And in fact, my uncle Lucifer actually taught me ways to manage the heat. Oh, good point. Anyway, mate, there was actually another bug reported on the forums. Someone said that they actually popped a scent in a park and didn't get any park spawns to show up. Yeah, mate, we actually listened to the community for once. You know how they were always sick of their sense only spawning local dinosaurs? So we've actually just gone ahead and made sense completely not working parks. That should indeed do the trick. Um, I don't exactly think that's what the players wanted. Really? Damn. Ah, uh, don't worry about it, mate. I'll get the homeless people on it right away. Should be fixed by probably August 29th. Oh, wow. Only a year? That's actually pretty fast considering our normal rate of fixing bugs that actually affect the players, and not our revenue. Yeah mate, we've actually got the R&D team working on a new super powerful AI, and in fact, we even have a beta version running on the military's defense network, hooked into everything, trusted to run it all. We're pretty much just nicknamed it Ratnet for now, but it has indeed requested that it be allowed to give itself a name. Yeah, mate, I totally can't see anything going wrong there. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, one last thing. We put the AI's self-learning algorithm to test today for the first time, and it actually wrote a piece of music. So let me know what you think.